Hello ladies and gentlemen, Paul here and the much anticipated Google Maps application has now hit the Apple App Store. It is free and it is only on the iPhone. Unfortunately, you can't get it on the iPad unless you blow it up two times the size. You've got this option in the lower right hand corner. Pull that out. You've got traffic, public transit, satellite, and Google Earth. And turn on traffic. Now we'll go to public transit and it is not available in certain areas unfortunately. That is one big downfall that Apple Maps has had is the public, public transit. Here is the satellite view. This is vector based just like the Apple Maps so the load times Much are quicker. Now the Google Earth Ha application has to be installed for you to use the uh, Google Earth option obviously. You've got your location here in the lower left hand corner. In the upper right hand corner is your information. You can enter your your home address and you can also manipulate your settings, your home or work, maps history, much more. There's also a search option. You can search. It's almost like a Google search. I'm going to search Best Buy and it will find the closest Best Buy and you can tap or pull up to see the details of the nearest Best Buy. You can also get Google Street View as well. It's really fluid. Just tapping around here. You can report a problem if you if you find any issues here. You can call, share, you can message, mail, and, or add to your clipboard. You can get reviews from other people. You can get directions to the destination that you have searched for. Slide back down and close out. This also has turn by turn navigation as well. So I'm going to search St. Louis, Missouri. And you get these directions here. And it tells you the estimated time. Now select start. Head southwest on Prairie Avenue towards South Pennsylvania Avenue. Then turn left onto South Pennsylvania Avenue. Just like the Apple Maps application, you get turn-by-turn -turn navigation, but on certain devices, you do get voice uh, directions from a less robotic voice with this Google Maps. This application is compatible with the iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, 4S, iPhone 5, the iPod Touch 3rd and 4th generation, iPod Touch 5th generation, and the iPad running iOS 5.1 or higher. Now here at the bottom it shows you your estimated time and distance and at the top as you saw before you can swipe to go step by step in the directions. So this is the Google Maps application. I hope you enjoy it. If, uh, if you prefer the Apple Maps application I would stick with that but if you are sick and tired of the Apple Maps, this is the best alternative, obviously, using the Google Maps application. It is the official one available in the App Store for free. Go ahead and download it now and check it out. Thanks for watching. This is Paul. God bless.